All right, we want to simplify this expression, uh, meaning that we only want to have one x and one y and no negative exponents in the expression. I'm going to start by taking this negative one third and distributing it to both of the terms inside. So we have x to the 7 6, y to the 4 fifths, and then it's going to be times x to the positive 1 now, because negative 1 third times negative 3 is 1, and y to the negative 1 15th. x to the 1 is just x, and then we have y, on the bottom we have x times y to the negative 4 thirds. Now I can multiply the numerators together. So I'm going to have x to the 7, 6. What we do is we, um, oops, it's not actually 7, 6. We add the um, numerators to, or the exponents together. So 1 plus 7, 6. If you're not good with fractions, uh, feel free to type that into your calculator. Um, for this class, you need to have a calculator that does fractions. And um, I get 13 over 6. And then y is going to be 4 fifths minus 1 15th. And that's 11 fifteenths. And that's all over x, y to the negative 4 thirds. All right, so now we can see that we have um, x's in the top and the bottom. And we also have y's in the top and the bottom. So what we do here is we use the um, quotient rule and we subtract the exponents. So it's 13 over 6 minus 1. And for that we get 7, 6. So x to the 7, 6. And then 11 fifteenths minus a negative 4 thirds. Now be careful here, when you subtract a negative, what you're really doing is adding. So remember the quotient rule says you subtract, but the negative 4 thirds is negative, so you subtract a negative, change it to positive, and you should come up with 31 fifteenths. And now that we have um, just one x, one y, and no negative exponents, um, we know that we are done.